Now this stock's at $15.62, which is up a lot year to date. It's up 92% year to date, Mo. And it's still 15 bucks. Oh, how I love Peloton stock. Guys, enjoy our new videos. If you notice, there are no YouTube ads on this video and the vast majority of our videos coming out. The reason being, we want to focus on the content and our software. So enjoy Peloton. Now, for those of you who are new, please go back and watch our past Peloton videos when we were saying at these levels that, that Peloton was not making any sense to us. And we said, listen, this is a temporary jump. It came off of COVID. COVID was a nice jump but they still weren't able to make money. And we said, we just don't get it. People looked at us and said, you don't get it. That idiot from Russia slash Israel, I don't know, I don't remember the guy who went to Michigan. He said, we didn't understand. He at $180 a share said Peloton was an absolute buy. Maybe it wasn't 180 because the all time high says here 171. So either way, it was up there. Semantics. And now the stock, what was that? Semantics. Semantics. <laughs> now the stock's at $15.62, which is up a lot year to date. It's up 92% year to date, Mo. And it's still 15 bucks. It's still $15. I, I don't think a lot of people realize when a stock falls from 170 to seven, how much it has to go up to get back to 170. Well, let's look at it this way. Let's do the math here. So let's pull up the calculator, the good old calculator. <laughs> and 170 divided by seven. 24.28 times. Okay. Let's say it takes 20 years to do that. Okay. You have to make 17.3% a year to just get back to even. You have to make 17.29% per year for 20 years to get back to even. This is why we always preach that it's not about finding the winners. It's about avoiding the massive losers. Now, that doesn't mean that we're not going to have big losers. I have stocks that have fallen a lot. But the stocks that I have have a weird thing called profit and free cash flow. Here is the profit and free cash flow of Peloton over the last five years. Loss, loss. Yippee! Yippee! COVID year, they made 166 million. Loss and loss. It took, okay. It took a global pandemic shutting down every gym in the country for them to make money. Yep. Now let's look at cash flow because it could be a different story. Spoiler alert, sure it ain't. I'm sure it's the same. Loss, loss, yippee! Yippee! Loss, loss. Big losses. Too. They, got, they got worse after COVID. Significantly worse. They lost more money after COVID. Guys, let's go look at our eight pillars for Peloton. Whoops. <laughs> I mean, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely insanity. Let's look at analyst estimates. They're not even projecting them to be profitable in 2027. And I think analysts are overly optimistic. Yeah. This is what I don't get. Let's look at revenue. Where's the revenue growth? This major, amazing company is only going to grow by 20 or 25% in the next four years. That's nothing. Guys, by the way, we both have Pelotons. We love our Pelotons. We don't subscribe to the software anymore because I just use it purely for treadmill. And I could have bought a lot cheaper treadmill than the $4,000 one I have that I just walk on. But I love it. It's wonderful. Separate the stock from the company. And I don't see, apart from this company, mass. and by the way, the new CEO is saying they're making major yes. headways yep. towards profitability. Yep. But the issue is, guys, when you buy a company at $180 a share, it was 10 times greater. The company was a $45 billion company, essentially. $45 billion company with $3 billion in revenue. That's 15 times. That's more than, soft, than Microsoft and other software companies. And look at this gross margin. Guys, Microsoft has a 68% gross margin. Peloton is 19. That means for every extra sale they do, 19% goes to pay for overhead and taxes while Microsoft is 68% goes to overhead and taxes. And which one should sell for a premium? <laughs> what does Peloton have to do? What does Peloton have to make in order to justify this price? Well, let's see. $4.2 billion market cap, but it's got growth potential, but it can't make money. I'm going to be official with this. This is a too hard pile for me. Yeah, This is not even in the realm of trying to figure out which direction this is going to go. I have no idea... How to understand this business. I, I've said it for, I think we both said it for about a year. It's a great company to be acquired by somebody. Yeah. I thought Amazon would be a great acquirer yeah. or Google or Apple. Or Nike. Look at the number of shares outstanding. 
233, 280, 293, 317, 342. Guys, what this means is if you own the stock back here, you brought on how many more partners along the way? These are all people that you didn't get to choose to be your partners, and now Peloton is going to split. Now you could argue the losses along with them, so you're getting less of a loss along the way. But come on, this is insanity. This is what makes it very, very difficult to make money. Now, it's one thing if this was a completely, there'll be a time, Warren Buffett says, there are times of great extreme where you'll eventually find companies that are selling for 20% of their actual value. Could this be it? Maybe. But for this company to hit it, it's got to do things it hasn't done. And that is not a good investment thesis. It's not a good investment thesis to hope and pray that they pull out a miracle. Look at Apple. Apple pulled off a miracle when they brought Steve Jobs back. So if you bought Apple back in 1996 before they were 1995 before they brought Steve Jobs back, you made a guess and you were right. It didn't make you correct though. Steve Jobs was not supposed to come back. I don't remember what year he came back exactly, but he turned the company around. It was still a crap company, mm -hmm. but how many companies were crap companies that didn't get turned around? For every Apple, there's probably 200 other ones, and I'm guessing, that did not turn it around. So if your goal is to play the lottery and eventually win it and hopefully make your entire, that's what you're doing here when you buy companies like Peloton. Even at $15 a share, I can't look at you and say this is a good deal. Even when it was six dollars and sixty eight cents, I had no idea. Yeah, that's the hard part. I didn't, and that's why I say it's a too hard pile. If you told me a dollar a share or a hundred, I don't know the difference. You might sit there and say, "Come on, that's extreme." No, it's just understanding that when you buy a, a stock, you're buying a piece of a business. If I cannot value the business because I don't understand how they're going to make money, no price makes sense to me. Warren Buffett says, "Offer me all the Bitcoin in the world for twenty five bucks, I ain't taking it," because he doesn't know what it's worth. Same thing here. I don't know what Peloton's worth. Let's go even look at their debt. What does their debt look like, Mo? I actually stopped looking. I was going to look at. They have three point three billion dollars in total liabilities. Okay. Three point three. Their revenue is three point three. Total current assets of two point oh six billion. Their revenue is three point three. Yeah. Their <laughs> revenue is three point three. They have as much revenue as they have debt. Wow. But look at a company like Microsoft. It's not the same thing. I look at these things, guys, saying, "Come on." At least Microsoft, even if it does, Microsoft might have it, but they have spit off tens of billions of dollars of cash flow every single year. Peloton is not. So if you're out here and this makes sense to you, subscribe to the channel. This is something that really makes a lot of sense for us. And it might not make sense to you because you're probably trying to chase something and it'll take a bear market and you'll probably go, wait a second, those a-holes on everything money, they said this, but I didn't want to listen to them. Go back to... 12, 18 months ago, when, when, I don't know when this was, when was this at $180 a share, Paul? January of 2021. So go back and watch videos around January of 2021 and see what we were saying about it when it was around $180 a share and compare it to now and see how it's all come about. And we, we stood by ourselves back then saying yeah. this doesn't make any sense. Zero. That's the difference between us and other YouTubers. We have multiple businesses. We don't need to say what you want to hear in order to sell you ad space. Do we sell software? Absolutely. But this software solves major problems for people that they have when they invest. The emotional, the numbers, everything like that. So I will stand by that all day long. But when you look at this and you look at this long-term chart, overall, since it went public, it's down 40%. Yeah. Since it went public. And guys, this is a prime example. Great product, crappy stock. Crappy stock. Why? What's behind the stock? I have no idea. I have no idea how this company makes money. And that idiot in Russia, or wherever he is, kept saying, I'm a value investor, that he's a value investor. I'm like, how does a value investor value, value this? Yeah. You can't. They don't have free cash. They don't have net income. It's all hype. It was selling for 15 times revenue. That made no sense for a company with these kind. Of, these are car company margins. Car companies sell for between 0 0.5 and one times revenue. This was selling for 15 times revenue. That's 15 to 30 times more. I'd rather give you buy Ferrari and overpay for Ferrari than buy this crap. And any assumption that you would make in stock analysts? Pure guess. Well, pure guess. 100% a guess. I could put in there negative five revenue growth. I could put in plus 15, plus 30. I have no idea. No clue. All of them are viable. Now, what, am I saying I'm not going to buy Peloton ever? No. As the information changes, my view will change. If the CEO is able to turn things around big time and get to cash flow profitability and some sort of way of getting to ongoing growth, 
Different story altogether. And if that means Peloton goes from 15 to 45 until it realizes that, but at 45, I can determine a value and it's much higher than 45, I will buy it. But in the meantime, I can't make heads or tails of it. So for that reason, I'm out. Guys, if you'd like this, and if you like our software, seven days, $7, check it out. It's a new special. Take care.